So guys, here we are, MMA UK News, Stoneboy as always, MMA UK BJJ show. So talking about STI 10, STI 10 is going to be Saturday 7th of May. It's going to be at the usual place, Mary Hill Community Hall in Glasgow. Now, awesome venue, Ross has been on before. Um, so obviously the venue is an absolutely awesome venue. Um, it's very, very tight venue as well, as the, the crowd on top of the action, the atmosphere is brilliant as well. This time it's going to be a little bit more special, as I said, it's going to be um, pay-per-view on this event as well, which is something we've not had before. Um, so this is the perfect time. It's the perfect card as well. I mean, looking at the card, it's an unbelievable card from start to finish. A lot of young guys, male and female, sorry, are on this card. So, um, and a lot of unbelievable talent. So, we're going to get to see that on May the 7th. Now, um, if uh, anybody's looking for tickets, make sure you head over to Scottish Grappling. It'll take you through to their booking system. Uh, so, get your tickets directly from them. And again, pay-per-view, anybody looking for the pay-per-view, Details are also on Scottish Grappling as well. Going to be commentators, so I'll be one of the commentators, uh, which is going to be brilliant. Uh, as I said, I know pretty much everybody on this card. I know the ins and outs of everybody, so um, it's going to be brilliant to commentate on all these fights. Going to have a partner in crime with me. It's not been announced yet, so that's going to be announced hopefully soon. So we're going to find out who that next commentator is going to be. So um, now, as I say, my next guest... Obviously, it's one of my boys, one of the guys. I was saying, I was there first day he walked in the gym. I remember him coming in with his dad, Robert. Um, was coming in with his dad. His dad used to sit there and watch the watch him training and used to come with him every single day. Do you know what I mean, I think, what were you, 15, 16 year old at the time? I was 15 or 16. I, I think 16, uh, 16 rang the bell. I'm sure yeah. I was 16 when my dad brought us in first time. I, uh, at GB. So. So obviously came in, um, and Ross has been one of these guys who, again, I've been fortunate enough to to see everything he's done from obviously day one right up until now. And obviously, I'm going to see him go on and do some absolutely wonderful things in this game as well. So, uh, so yeah, Ross Smith, the Grip House, going to be up against Connor Smith. All right, no relation. All right. Well, we hope it's no relation. All right. So, but not Connor that I'm Smith. Aware of, no. Not that he's aware of. Uh, so, Connor Smith of Rick Young Black Belt Academy. So, again, two absolutely fantastic grapplers. Um, so, yeah, Ross, listen, absolute pleasure, buddy. I'm glad I finally got a chance to talk to you. Um, so, I know me and you uh, talk. <laughs> we talk every time we see each other. We always grab a chat. But that's the first time you've been on the show. Uh, I'm always talking to you, constant shit. Eh? <laughs> buzzing with habit, man. Uh, but first time you've been on this show as well, man. I see now, that. Getting, yeah. getting famous now. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> so how have you been anyway? How's training going? Good, mate. It's actually been really good. Now. I've managed to have a bit of really consistent with training and shit and getting good rounds at the gym and stuff and playing around with really good people and all that. So can't complain too much. We managed to lift a wee bit in that as well, man. Try to get fucking hench. I mean, so it's been putting all together. It's been pretty good, man. Starting to yeah. just wait. Like, Try and get a good run of comps and shit, and try and stay healthy in that, and eventually yeah. start trying to hit some bigger comps and all that. So, yeah, I'll just yeah. fucking stick to the process and keep training consistently. But speed. Yeah, and that's one thing. I mean, obviously, I know me and you obviously started at a different gym um, when we we mm -hmm. first started jujitsu, and then obviously the your game since going to the grip house dramatically changed. I mean, Aye. it didn't really dramatically change. What what I mean is, obviously, it was there was a big change. I noticed it. Um, and obviously, I remember talking to you about it and saying, look, because I think your first comp after that, when when I spoke to you and I said, mm -hmm. look, obviously the change to the grip house was evident. Everybody was able to see it. Aye, man, it was game changer for me. Like, I was just like, I got, I'd done it at the right time, like, pages when I was training at GB. Like, everybody was always like, oh, I should come to the grip house, come here, I should try another gym, train more people. And I was like, uh, but... I think it all happened at a good time with COVID and all that when like the gyms were all shut. I was like getting rooms with like Shay and Blair and like all that and, and Shay's flat and stuff and it just kinda swung changed my mind. I didn't think I would ever leave GB, you know what I mean? But it kinda just like changed my mind and I got trained like that and I never looked back, man. Literally yeah. within like probably within like a month training with all them, I was like fucking massively better than what I was at the start. Do you know what I mean? I, I always had like I, I was like just pure scrappy and like I loved rolling and shit and loved going hard but I just like 
the tech, a lot of the technical side of stuff was missing, and it was like I'd go hard against everybody, but just like you know, I mean, I just didn't, didn't even know the rules of jiu-jitsu, and even know I mean, it's just got to go mental and hope for the best. But just especially yeah. training with Shane and all that, and like picking his brain, and just like started watching more like competition footage and like matches and shit, and like actually studying a wee bit of jiu-jitsu. I feel like I pieced it together and actually got a wee bit technically better. You know what I mean, so it has been a yeah. game changer. I've trained the grip right enough. It's next level training. Oh. Really good. I always used to love watching your matchups uh, before going to the grip house because, as you said, it was like dead scrappy. But it was, uh, I mean, y- you still were going out and winning. Do you know what I mean? And it was, it was entertaining. Right, it was always I, I entertaining. Know, right? like, towards the end of like my blue belt time, I started to pick up some wins and stuff. And I would just like, do you know I mean? I'd f- go out and just start throwing up like flying triangles and all that. And like with uh, zero setup, man, I'd see like a YouTube video. I'd see like. Like a 10 minute highlight and I would see this week scramble for like 20 seconds and I'd be like next comp I'm going to do that like that flying triangle I'm going to do that and I'd just grab, I'd just go for it and like I'd, yeah. I watch my matches now for back then I remember I'd, I'd hit this stuff and I'd be like oh that was class man and I watch yeah. it now and I'm just like oh mate what was that what was it in like, I'd be like there'd be like I'd get in this position man there would be like 10 easy options and I would go for the most like complicated flashy thing and like, yeah. I'd look back and go, oh, that's a highly real move there. But now I look and I'm like, wow, well, man. But able to actually like, lo- slow my brain down uh, and like realise how to do jitsu. I'm like, ah, right, okay, this is it. This is better. Because there was mean, lots of jumping about. I still have to go to the wheel passes and stuff like aye, that. So. 100%. <laughs> but and it was entertaining. I still entertaining. like the wee occasional cartwheel, man. It's like, I still got to throw it in there, do you know what I mean? But I'll yeah. make it, I'll make it like, when it's necessary. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just got somebody coming yeah, in okay, saying yeah. uh, they're watching from, ma- ma- I don't even know what that is, Macha Kala. Um, just saying they know someone from Scotland as well, trains at the gym. Obviously, just saying mm. the Grip House is a, it's a good gym. Do you know what I mean? And they are right. I mean, that's one thing 100%. that when I, anybody I speak to, I mean, I, I hold the grip house as everybody knows in high regards even though they're a different gym yeah. and stuff like that um i do hold it in high regards because the grip house as you know i mean obviously me and you coming up the grip house was always when we went to competitions if you came up against somebody from the grip house that was the person you wanted to be you didn't you know what i mean obviously you wanted to win yeah, a gold right. medal and stuff for that but that was the one person you always wanted to be mm-hmm. the thing is i think it like it caters for like Everybody, like, in jiu-jitsu, you've got, like, and the people who, like, compete and, like, they want to go hard. You can go in and go 100% man and nose bust open and all that and go mental against people. And then you've got, like, the people who don't even compete, but they'll still go mental with you and have a hard time. And you've got, like, yeah. kind of, like, older people, even younger people who come in and just want to, like, train for fun. Do you know what I mean? You don't go as mental and stuff. And then you've, like, you can be training hard as, and you've got, like, your people who, like, your restaurants, you rep your stuff out on. Do you know what I mean? Like, we Blair Hamilton, like, you grab wee Blair Hamilton and drill out your new shit on him because he's shit. And um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get guys like that who you can you can rep your new stuff out on. But um, I it cares for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's got uh, something for everyone there. Do you know what I mean? But definitely, definitely. And then the guy just coming okay. in there uh, again, just saying uh, the the area where he's from is in Russia, so it's the same area as Khabib and other UFC guys. And then just saying it seems like Ross is a great student. He definitely is. I mean, that's one thing about Ross. As I said, I've known Ross since he first walked in the door, 15, 16 year old. And do you know what I mean? He was always keen to learn. Do you know what I mean? He was always there and he would be asking questions or how do I do this? How do I do that? Do you know what I mean? He would roll with everybody, regardless of who it was. And I mean, I remember at that time, I would have been, what, 100 kilos. And do you know what I mean? I, would, I was going out and winning all sorts. And I remember him coming oh. over and be like, let's roll. Do you know what I mean? And, just go down. I guarantee you as well. You you would be like you would be like a hundred kilos, like absolute beast, and I would have been like fifteen year old, probably about forty kilos, and I would come in and start trying to bear and bully and shit. I'd watch yeah, the yeah. little brothers like doing bear and bowls, <laughs> and I'd just grab and spin upside down, man, and get crushed, and I'd just be like, ah. I mean, yeah, but that's what I love. You'd be like, rolling these people, and I'd be going mental, like spinning upside down, getting folded in two, and I'd be like, I'm gonna bear and bowl. Like, <laughs> yeah, you you rolled me. Big Brock. Do you remember Big Brock? Big Brock. Big Daddy I, Clark. I do. I, I do. I, I, I think uh, I, I don't remember training with him that much, but I, I definitely when I was younger, I first started got some really good family. Uh, I remember Blair Hamilton used to. Brock was a 
Brock was brilliant, right? Brock was absolutely brilliant. As I said, he brought a fucking intensity when you were rolling. Um, and he, he wanted to kill you. Right? He wanted to kill everybody in rolling, which which was absolutely <laughs> brilliant. And I remember Blair Hamilton would have been like 12, 13 year old. And Blair always wound him up, man. And, do you know what I mean? And especially if you were the next person to roll with him and you've got Blair's been fucking in his ear for like six minutes, just winding him up and winding him up. <laughs> By the time he comes to roll with you, he's ready to murder you. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. of fucking Blair Hamilton. Do you know what I mean? So, he'll still do that, man. He'll, he'll do that with yeah. Shane. Do you know what I mean? Like Shane fucking whoop, whoops all of his. Do you know what I mean? But he'll roll with Blair and Blair will do something like he'll get something on him and battle up that much. And then, like next round, I've got Shane. And he's like, uh, uh, like I'm battle up with, with Blair. I'm like, oh, mate, Blair just smashed you and all that. And then you realize you roll with him next. So, right, Blair, shut up, thanks. Go take out on me. Do you know what I mean? And when that comes to smaller than you, you're like, nah, you don't want to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. In front of him, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He still does I'll that. Be... He bams it. He'll smash people and then he'll bam them up and then they want to like take the head off you and you're all with them next. Yeah. You know I mean? but... Oh, he's brilliant for it. He's absolutely brilliant. He's definitely another entertaining yeah. guy to watch and entertaining because he will. He'll just talk and talk and talk, man. He'll be like, oh, fuck's sake, boy. Just, yeah. just roll, mate. Just get on with the roll, mate. And that's it. Do you know what I mean? So, <laughs> just go... um, but that last compliment, <laughs> I, I was bad. telling, every time he was coming on to Matt, I was refereeing. I was like that, saying to Blair, right, Blair, are you ready? And I'm like to his opponent, fucking smash him. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I'll give you extra <laughs> points if you smash him, do you know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, he's, he's good. Like, man, I think he's, the most, he's got to be the most hated person in the group. This man, he walks in, you know what I mean? Just walks in, smucking at every third man, and everyone's just like, oh, I'm going to take the head off him. Do you know what I mean? It's funny, cause I remember like, when, when I started training, I, I was young, but Blair, I think when I met Blair, he was like 13, man. They had this wee orange belt with like 100 tabs yeah. on it, do you know what I mean? You'd roll about, you'd roll with your wee brother. Then he went to that like when he was really young, and I never seen him for years. And I bumped into him yeah. at a comp, and he, like he's got like a shaved head, man. And he was like massive, and I was like, "What's happening, yeah. mate?" Right? And then like he's like, "I come to the grip of smash you and all that." And I'm like, "We player, we player, man. He'll never smash me, no chance, man." Like have some words, man. Have some words. Yeah. I was even butty shape, really, but you know, I was have some words in there. Listen, he's, enter- he's definitely entertaining. I say, absolutely love him. But his brother's definitely a better Jits guy than Blair. Lewis is Lewis is so much better oh, than Blair. 100%, you know I mean? mate. It's not even oh. close. It's not even <laughs> close, mate. Blair, uh, Lewis hasn't trained in years, I believe, and I think he would come back and easy duck Blair, mate. Like, he oh, mate, he'd rinse Blair. Lewis is always better. Dog. 100%. I think, I think to this day in the house, he still rubs Blair's face in the carpet every day, man. And that's why Blair's <laughs> raging. I, I think that's why he's so frustrated once the bang of work, because Blair's bullies yeah. him, rubs his face in the carpet every day, man, and just hates his life. And that's why he comes raging. What an everybody. Love it, man. I love it. It's a feeling, man. <laughs> and then what about SGI then, Ross? So SGI 10. As I say, you were on SGI before. Um, uh, you've been on it before, so what? What? Uh, how did you find out you were going to be on it this time? Um, well, I was on it last time. I was like, I I trained mostly gi. To be fair, like I trained gi, I know gi, but if I had to pick one, I trained more gi, more on the gi. And uh, yeah. yeah, I was I competed on it once, no gi, and like yeah. I was still young, still really raw. Do you know what I mean, I competed against that guy who was pretty good. Um, and like I went in thinking no, I would do all right now. I got heel hooked in like 20 seconds, man. And I was like, oh man, I'm sure you jiu jitsu. But like this time, I really wanted to get a match in the gi because I, like at the time, I had the last one, I can't remember where it was, but I'm sure uh, Shay was training for World at the time. And uh, I was training for SGI and a couple of other people were, and I was meant to have a gi match. So the camp still kind of in a and it was, it was pretty good for getting prepared. And then my guy was meant to fight, pulled out. Um, so I got someone else, and then he ended up pulling out, and then I think I got one other person, but he never, like, something happened, he never got it, so eventually James was like, I've tried hard to get you a match, but I can't get you one, so I was like, right, cool, and I left it, and then it was, like, something like two days before, he was like, right, I've got you a guy, his opponent's also pulled out, but it's going to be Nogi, are you alright with that? And at yeah. first I was like, oh, mate, I've not done a single Nogi round in, like, God knows how long, I've just done a full Gi camp. Uh, but I, I was like, nah. but then I was kind of like, oh, you know what, like, just, just go for it, see what happens, do you know what I mean? So I jumped in, tried to make it as exciting as I could, do you know what I mean? And just kind of went mental and managed to win a decision, which was fucking bizarre, right? do you know what I mean? The fight, I could have done stuff better and all that, but I had no gain ages. Um, yeah. So we got a good start there, and then I was straight back after, just all the kind of local comps competing in the gi again, and I kind of thought, like, I don't know because it's like an invitation though. I didn't want to be the guy who's like mentioned asking to be on it. 
but yeah. like so I was like I'll leave it and see what happens and James messaged me and he was like oh I'm looking to get you matched up on for a gear this time and I was like let's go for it so anybody said I would have took it do you know I mean so I just want to get matches in the gear and try and feel like try and make it exciting do you know what I mean yeah yeah that's that like, thing definitely exciting. Do, like people a lot I you know like a lot a lot of gear matches can be boring and I want to like try and do you know I mean like a lot of people try and make it as exciting as possible that's so people watching because you see like the full cards like 80 percent no gi i mean so yeah. i'd love to like put the gi match out there like people remember over all the no gi ones you know what i mean they're like oh, oh, gi matches can still be exciting you know what i mean and yeah yeah still, still make, the make, gi exciting, cool. so. make, still uh, make the gi cool again mate make it cool again mate make the gi cool again mate that's it ah, yeah. make the gi cool again. patch all this heel hook nonsense man patch all this heel hook nonsense Aye, aye, we get it gone, mate. See, the thing is, though, right, you, you'll know as well. I mean, you've been in the game for a, a good few years, but there's trends happen. Mm. I mean, one year it'll be rear naked chokes aye. will be the thing, and then it'll be heel. At the moment, it's obviously leg lock stuff, heel hooks and so on. But yeah. then in a year or a couple of years' time, it'll be on arm bars or fucking, do you know what I mean? So it'll always, ex- it'll always evolve as time goes on. Mm-hmm. Even in, in the as well, the, that like the leg locks kind of feel like didn't disappear, but they weren't as like out there. Like, people weren't spamming them that much, but now even in the gi, you can't escape it because people are doing that 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 foot lock that's like the heel slips out. And it's basically a heel hook in the gi, and it's like illegally legal in the gi comp, so you can't even escape it in the gi. To be fair, so everyone's get coming for your legs now. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, people but... a couple of people in the chase started doing it, and a lot of like some people they get picked up on. Now and it's like as soon as your foot slips, like, like you try and defend a footlock the way you would, and they're just like ripping your heel off, man. They're just like, I hate like locks, man. I mean, feeling just like horrendous at them that I just, uh, I'm like, oh, but, this, this is nah, next uh, next year, hopefully, it'll be something different. I just said it'll always change, it'll always change. So I remember they right. went through a phase where it was, uh, they were doing, um, just a good few years ago, it was rear naked chokes, um, and everybody was doing rear naked mm. chokes. If, if you pulled off a rear naked choke in a comp, it was a big thing, do you know what I mean? And then, um, then everybody was doing like dash chokes and neckties and so on. So, um, because remember, K- uh, Ma- uh, Mop did obviously a big tour. Um, on neckties, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Did a big seminar tour on neckties, Aye. so at that time they were obviously quite big, and then obviously now we're on the heel hooks and leg locks and stuff like that. So it'll always change, it'll always change. So, um, Aye. and then what about you then this year? So, obviously, it's 2022, we're back, we're going to have hopefully a full year of shows and stuff like that. I mean, what, what do you see yourself hopefully doing? I mean, see the thing as well, right? I mean, you're in good company, obviously training with Shea a lot. So obviously you're seeing some of the stuff Shea's mm. doing. Obviously out there winning the world, Aye. winning the, the Euros, the Pan Ams and stuff like that. I mean, is that something that you might want to see yourself doing at some point, Ross? But it's super motivating like to see Shea out there doing that. Do you know I mean? Because like, you see the work he puts in and like not even just on the match. I mean, but you talk to him about Jiu-Jitsu and it's like the amount of time he spends watching footage and like just... Just he's never not thinking about it, man. So like to see him going out and winning stuff, you know, it's it's good to see that paying off, and it is super motivating and makes me want to do stuff he's doing, like watching yeah. matches and like studying a lot more, just thinking about jiu-jitsu a lot more. And like I would like, it's, it's, I would like to start trying to get to some of these bigger competitions and stuff, Jim. But it's one of them. Like I tell myself, like oh, I just want to be like on that level before I start putting myself out there because I don't want to jump into like the IBDF comps and thinking I'm. At that level, you can get dusty like straight away, and then you start like doubting yourself about it and all that. But it's one of them that you're only going to get on that level from from doing it, you know. So I'd like to yeah. just try to get any comp that I can get comes up and I can get to it. Then I'm just gonna yeah. get get it to them, try and get as many matches as possible, and I can see what, see where I end up. But I definitely think like stuff like the Euros and stuff like that. I'd like to start yeah. maybe trying to get get there and like just for the experience. I mean. It would yeah, be good to yeah. kind of get my name out there a bit and like, but 100% watching like guys like Shane stuff, like the results I get, that is high, really motivating. I mean, so definitely, I'd like definitely. to see myself being that good one day, but if I can, if I'll wait. <laughs> Listen, mate, you're already awesome, yeah. mate. I, just, I love the, 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 <laughs> the fights that we love, that everybody in Scotland loves watching, as you know. As you and Arouge, like they are absolute fucking yeah. wars, man. Do you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> you guys, 
I remember there was a point where he was winning and then obviously you've won some and it's a good back and forward between the two and it's always Aye. it's always wars, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's like never it's, mate, I've was... never seen a boring Ross Smith and a Rouge Aye, no, matchup. No, and that, that's what I love, man. That's the matches I love. Like that that, that day when the Scottish comps came out of one, but I man like we fought each other. We we're in the division, it was only us two. So they're best of three. And then it was only me and him in the absolute again. So we fought three times. I managed to beat him three times that day. But like it was one of them. I knew we were going to face each other a lot of times, and I knew that like not that I got lucky. I mean, like I felt like I was better on that day. But it's one of them that I was like we're going to face each other a bunch of times. So like I'm not going to pure be like oh I'm so much better than him because it was like you were face it all the time. You're going to win some, lose some, and all that. But one thing I was like I know every time I compete against him, and like you know it's going to be fireworks and like for ages yeah. we were the same weight but like i was purple and he was blue and like we just like that went on for ages and ages and uh, i just knew like we were going to meet eventually and when he first came here and started training here he came to gb for a while it was like briefly like a couple of weeks he came and when he came there he, he used to smash me man his jiu-jitsu was just so much more modern than mine and he would he'd wipe them up with me and it was yeah. like he went away and he's training with you guys and i was training at GB for ages after that. Then when I was at the grip and I seen he got his purple belt, I was like, I mean, we were going to meet eventually. We were definitely going to yeah. going to meet at some point. And then on, on that day, I was just like, I'm boom. I felt as if I were waiting for that match for ages. Do you know what I mean? That's yeah. yeah. a good match. Everyone remembers that, that, that one match. And it's like, why did they remember it? Because actually, at one point, they like wrestled off the mat and he's got like a single leg. And he like, re- he like kicks the leg and go flying into the table like, with the TV and all that and knock him <laughs> over and all that. And everyone's like, fuck. And like, everyone remembers that match, man. Like, and yeah, that's what I mean yeah. about making key matches exciting. That's like, I mean, that's what you're after, man. You want to key matches with people. Yeah. Out of that whole competition that day, like, everyone remembers that one match because they're flying off at the TV and all that. And I'm like, that's what I want, man. That's, like, uh, that's what yeah, I'm after. But I remember you two, you're speaking after it. And I remember the two years, obviously, because mm. both of you have got a lot of respect for each other. Do you know what I mean? They're respect for each Aye, other's games. And, upset, and when I was mm-hmm. listening to the two years talking after it, German, you know I mean? and that, that was what both of you yeah. were saying. Look, one, German, you know I mean? you'll beat me sometimes, I'll beat you sometimes, and so on and so on. But that's that's how we are. Aye. And it's good to have somebody like that, especially coming up, because do you know what I mean? There's all mm. it's always good to have that that nemesis type person. Do you know what I mean? The, yeah, the person yeah, that's going to make your game better and you'll make their game better at the same Aye. time. It, it, because, well, like, see, he's like, obviously, I, I'm not sure what age is, is, is Aruj, is he about the same age as me? I think Aruj is, what, 19? So, 90-year-old guy. Yeah, right? like, round about ages with me and, and it's like, all the young guys in Scotland would be cool to, like, as much as every time you compete against them, obviously, I want to win, but it'd be cool to get some training with guys like that as well, do you know I mean? Like, yeah. cross-training with each other and, like, getting better off of each other rather than, like, at the local comps, I feel like, I mean, it's like, it's nice to win, but you want to, like, get better off of each other than take that to, like, the bigger comps when you're going to kind of be on, like, the same, you know, from the same place, like, kind of on the same team, if you know what I mean, do you know what I mean? It'd be good to get better off each other and get some training in, and, like, the way I round school in competitions, if you can get rounds like that in the gym all the time, it would be, do you know what I mean? But it's someone who's like, really good rounds for each other, do you know what I mean? I feel like we get a lot better off each other. Yeah. Definitely, I mean, definitely. Like, as much as it's like going to be like a wee, a wee tiny rivalry every time we compete against each other, it's that way afterwards you go, I like fucking keep it cool because you're like a bit too. <laughs> but it's always that, well, uh, as you say, but you know what I mean. <laughs> but that one as well, you talked about the match where you just went on <laughs> through the table and everything. That was that was unbelievable. Uh, and again, that that was the one match, man, where I think I can't remember it, it finished. Was it? I think you were up in points. Um, and he yeah. was going to get disqualified. I, I think and stuff I was like up that, like so. four two. Yeah, I was up like four two, and there was like thirty seconds left. And obviously yeah. he wrestles up on a single leg, and it's like in the heat of the moment, you're chasing the points, and you, I would have probably done the same thing. You know what I mean? You you know you're yeah. at the edge of the mat. It's not as if he went, I'm going to fucking through that TV. I think it was just trying to get everyone. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But like when you go down, people are like, oh, I've been raging and all that. But I was I got up, man. And I was like, that's what it's all about. Let's go, man. Because you were up, you were up like yes. And then, Oh, I got up, up like, smiling. Yes. I was like, okay, let's go. I mean, it's like, oh. it gets you fired up, man. And then I've got, I watched the video on my phone, and it's like, after that, like, halfway through that match, the amount of people like, around the mat watching 
And it was like, you don't notice that at the time. It's, I think, like, everybody in the place was, like, watching that match. And I was like, that's what it's about. Why? Because you had referees. You had referees on other mats. Obviously, the matches had stopped and they didn't even start the next match because they were stuck. Because I remember, I was I was at the mat, I was at the mat next to, and I was like, ah, like yeah. obviously the competitors, you just wait there until this finishes. Do you know what I mean? So everybody made the whole place. So right. if, if I can have if I can have referees holding their matches so they can watch my matches, and I'm fucking happy with that. Whether I get smashed or I win, if, if I can have referees holding other competitors so they can watch my matches, then I'm happy with that. That was it. But. It's definitely awesome. Mm-hmm. We're going to see you two guys go at it again. I'm pretty sure, it's obviously, right, and, right. and Cobb's coming up as well. And as you said, it'll be mm-hmm. good to get, especially when like maybe like a Euros or big comps come up and get everybody yeah. together. Like so, as I mentioned, obviously, quite a few people. Obviously, yourself, Arouge, Calm, Burt, Jan, Finn, German. You know I mean? There's yeah, Blair, all these guys. You know I mean? Carlos, man, you know so I mean? Patrick guys, Brown and really so really on. Good. So yeah. there's a lot of unbelievable talent in Scotland, do you know what I mean? And they're all very, very similar weight divisions, do you know what I mean? So, I, mean I feel like you've definitely got, like, young people, like, I'm not saying that, like, older people aren't shit hot as well, but you've got, like, a bunch, I think, of, like, kind of young people, like, every weight, I think, like, yeah. some, like, share, like, the lowest weight possible going up towards, like, you've got people there at every way so I think like the imagine all the people all the young people all training together getting better off each other you could like I mean it's yeah really good It'll for happen. like jiu-jitsu in Scotland do you know what I mean listen it will happen it will happen mm-hmm. and then the final thing for you then Ross so obviously you've been in the game for a while all right so obviously you've been able to train with obviously a lot of great people over the years right. so but anybody you want to shout out to so obviously the usual friends family members teammates anything like that all right um, just fucking everybody at the grip house for like being making me feel like straight away when I started training there for like making me feel literally as I belonged there for the first time I walked in the door and like obviously I owe a lot to, to Shay for like helping me get a shit ton better because like it does take it has a lot of patience for people like me who are just doing pure like daft stuff and all that and it's like some people might be just like daffy, I'm not giving you attention but he's like nah nah sending you like stuff to do and all that to get a lot better so guys like him and everything just for helping me all around I mean just anybody who literally watch my matches or like show any support I appreciate it I know what I mean definitely and a special shout out he's not mentioned it at all but a special shout okay. out to his dad because his dad ah. came down Every single night when he was training, sat right, in the gym. Man. I was like but, 15, it, too young to go there myself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And your dad would be like, ah, do you know what I mean? He'd come in do an hour's class, and then obviously Ross, being Ross, stayed for another hour rolling. So his dad was like, <laughs> fucking, do you know what I mean? It's the class finished an hour ago, man. Come on, let's go home, man. But, uh, but dad'd be like shouting things to the side and all that, and I'd be like shouting things at the side, and I'm like, fuck, oh, damn. I, 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 strangle but, him. But, fucking strangle <laughs> him. <laughs> so, but no, listen, your dad was absolutely brilliant. I used to love chatting with your dad. I'd say any time he came in, and I'd say he was always there every night. Every mm. night, uh, he would never not be there. Do you know what I mean? He would always come down, he'd be watching. I used to always say to your dad, why do you not give it a try? Do you know I mean you've seen it for fucking ages? Do you know what I mean get get on the mat and give it a try? No, no, it's not Aye. for me. It's for it's for these young guys. And I'm like, I'm an old guy as well. <laughs> fucking get on the mat. So no, but definitely a big shout out to Dad. Do you know what I mean? I'd say absolutely awesome what he did. So no, um, I was good. he got me into it at such a young age and stuff like that. So he yeah. does a lot of favors and, and stuff. Like yeah, really good. So, shout out to so me were... as well, man, for letting me rest out my techniques on him during rounds, man. <laughs> See my rest rounds and stuff and just let me bathroom him every single night. It's, um, <laughs> and without rest rounds, like Blair, you just you don't get to rip out your new techniques on people in a lot of situations. Uh, so, we Blair, they always man, say that, they, all, yeah. they always say that, like, like white belts and stuff like that. If you were a blue belt, take your, do you know what I mean? Test out your moves on a white belt. So, it's just like you, yeah. purple belt. Testing out your, your, your moves on the weakest person in the Testing gym. Testing my moves on the wee guy, man. You know I mean? it's, <laughs> it's almost brilliant, do you know what I mean? But I don't care. Listen, if anybody, if anybody ever met Blair Hamilton, right, you would understand it's not bullying, all right? It's fucking Blair <laughs> Hamilton, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I Blair, deserves it. Blair deserves, deserves it, it, man. Do you know what I mean? If anybody deserves to be bullied, nobody deserves it, right? But Blair definitely does, do you know what I mean? Blair, so, I, has brought it upon himself 100%. <laughs> so there we go, guys. We're going to have Ross Smith, Grip House. The Grip House is going to be 
May the seventh. So that's going to be Saturday, May the seventh. Mary Hill Community Halls in Glasgow. Going to be SGI ten now. Ticket availability. There's going to be tickets available. So make sure you head over to Scottish Grappling. Get your tickets directly through them. Anybody that can't make the event, there's going to be pay per view. It's fucking awesome. There's pay per view at this one, as I said. So um, it's been building up and building up the last nine events. Yeah. So pay per view is going to be there. Everybody's going to be able to get to see it. So so there we go. Ross Smith versus Connor Smith. As I said, no relation, no relation at all. But it's the battle of the Smiths on the (laughs) Saturday, the seventh of May. All right. So. Listen, Ross, absolute pleasure. Always love chatting with you, buddy. All right. So, you as well, man. Um, Appreciate that. Are you over at the weekend over at Ravens, Craig? Uh, this weekend, yeah. I'm at the competition Sunday. I'm uh, working as a runner on Sunday and competing as well. So, I'm trying to well, listen, make sure, so make, sure make, sure you're, uh, make sure you're there on time. All right. <laughs> I'll so. be there on time for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, nine o'clock, buddy. All right, is it nine o'clock? Nine o'clock. Ah, that's yeah, a long so. ride, man. That's perfect. That's a long ride. <laughs> well, make sure you're there on time, buddy. All right. Make sure that that fucking tablet's all charged up as well. All right. So. <laughs> 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 uh, but that's an absolute pleasure, Ross. All right, I'll see you Sunday, buddy. All right, but enjoy mate. the rest Thanks of your evening. All right, see you Sunday. Well, man. Take it easy, buddy. Yeah, bye bye.